Advanced Reviews. Today I am reviewing the MHW3 bomber stuff. Um, it's kind of a competitor to um, some of the higher end things, but at not a super high end price like St. Anthony's and things like that. Um, but uh, they reached out to me. They actually sent me all this stuff. So full disclosure, I didn't pay for any of this um, equipment. Uh, I did pay though. The one thing I did pay for that um, I just wanted to purchase it because I thought it was interesting is this distribution WDT tool. Um, I actually ended up not liking this very much, but I think it is a very cool, it feels very good. Um, and I liked it a lot, but let me go ahead and basically just make a shot of espresso and kind of chat about some of the things uh, I found with the tools that they sent me, the ones that I like, the ones that I don't like, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead. I have this decaf equator coffee. It's a little late in the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out 16 grams of that. Now I will say that um, I have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. I have to review, I've already reviewed the DF83, but I have this uh, DF64V um, and I need to uh, review that. I'll probably do a comparison of these two. And I have um, a couple of other items that I need to do. I actually have to replace the gasket on my Lalite and shower screen. So I thought I'd do a little, review, do like a walkthrough video of that, how to do it. A lot of machines are the same. It's not gonna be anything crazy, but for some people that might have the Lalit Bianca, I think it might be nice to see that one get replaced. All right, so we got 16 grams here. I'm gonna clean this out. First tool on the list. I actually love this tool. If you do not have one of these, this is a brush specifically designed. It's flat here, and then it's got these curved edges, but it's specifically designed for a 52 millimeter portafilter. So you go in there and you just kind of do a little clean out. You can give it a little roll. And that does a pretty good job of breaking up anything. I'm gonna use a brush here though. This is just a, a brush that I'm like actually from like an art supply store just to kind of clean it out a little bit extra. And there's some dust that'll be left over. That's really good though for getting like big debris uh, chunked up kind of. So let's go ahead and do this. Excuse me. That's a tool. Oh yeah, actually. This tool doesn't work, unfortunately, for the DF83 really well, at least. I'll use it anyways, but this I actually love a lot. This, again, is another MHW3 bomber. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's got these magnetic uh, pieces on here, so it gets kind of a perfect size fit around here. There's almost no difference on the lip between this and that, so um, you can actually get a pretty nice uh, WDT without having to pull this off, which is really cool. So let me go ahead and pop this in there. It does kind of work, as you can see, it popped, it slid this out a little bit. So it will, it will work on this. It works really great for the um, uh, Libra, and I've also used it on the, um, what is it, the WI, the uh, Sete. I probably have mentioned this before, but I do love this grinder. This DF83 is great. It grinds super fast. It, doesn't pro it produces super consistent grinds. So let me kind of tap this around a little bit. This grinder really doesn't need WDT, as you can see. I mean, this is super uniform, really great. But just for fun, I'm going to show you a couple of things on these uh, tools that I got. So I'm going to keep this on here. I'm gonna use, this has actually become something that we use a lot. This is our standard WDT tool. Again, this is uh, their tools, MW, uh, MHW3 Bomber. Um, so you just kind of go ahead and, you know, if you've never WDT before, it's basically you just kind of are raking the coffee. You're just trying to break up any of the chunks. This coffee out of that grinder is amazing. Um, it really doesn't have any static, so you don't get a lot of bouldering or anything like that. This might help a little bit, but it doesn't help a ton. 
It helps a lot though on the Libra. Okay, so as you can see, we get a nice uniform there. I'm gonna do this again though with the, um, this is like the more automated version of that. You're supposed to put it directly down and spin it. And it does, as you can see, if I spin it and let go, it does do a pretty good job of continuing to turn there. But as you'll see here, I'll pull this directly up. It does kind of leave a bit to be desired. So there's a lot of holes in some specific spots. Now I've heard that using an orbital version of this um, will fix it. I don't know if they sell one yet. I don't think they do. I've seen some orbital tools. They're really expensive unless you do like a 3D printed version. Um, but um, it, it probably does knock these up. You just have to distribute this better which leads me to the next tool that I have in the arsenal of MHW3 bomber stuff. So we have a distributor tool here. Again, this isn't my favorite version of a distributor tool. Um, it doesn't do a terrible job. Uh, it does a pretty good job, but it does tend to um, not get it quite as well as one of the wedge styles, which is what I like. But this does work pretty good. Um, I definitely am not knocking it by any means. And then we have the tamper. I do actually kind of like this tamper a lot. It's got the um, like little cylindrical lines there. So when you tamp, it does kind of give that look. Looks very pretty. I've heard that I've heard an argument that it does it does actually do something. I'm not convinced that that does do do anything, but. You know. You're still using that Libra? I am still using the Libra. I, I like the Libra a lot. Um, let's see. I actually don't know if I have any milk, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to steam anything. Maybe we'll do heavy cream and try to just get like a little bit of a top. I'll get yelled at, but I don't care. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I like the Libra. It, it does a pretty good job. It doesn't... I wish that they would do the same thing that uh, the DF-83 is doing now, which they have like some ion, uh, I think it's called like an ion blaster or something like that. It basically uh, makes it so that there's no, um, it does like something with the static electricity so it removes it all and that comes out very uniform. That's why you don't really have any bouldering on that grinder. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and pull this shot. I do believe that uh, Eureka is going to be making a, I want to say it's a, a larger grind by weight. I'm not 100% sure which grinder they're going to be doing that to yet, but uh, that is in the works. So far, really great shot. I'm going to pull this back a little bit and shablamo. 36 grams, 16, what is that? Uh, I think that's almost exactly a uh, one to two ratio there. So that looks pretty good. Um, very good shot, pulled great. I am gonna take a sip of that and taste delicious. Um, Equator Coffee, they, they have one of the better decaps that I've had. I like them a lot. So I'll leave a link in the description after the video. I'm gonna do a little heavy cream, don't yell at me. But just to show you this this guy, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit to do a um, to do a little show and tell on this. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in here. This is probably a bad demo on this, but this is actually a really, really nice uh, milk frother. They sent, it, it's got that powder coating on the outside stainless on the inside, very sturdy. And then it also comes with a color match dial here. So this is gonna tell you the temp on there. I'll throw that in there while we're going. Machine washable. It is machine washable. I don't know about the dial. I probably wouldn't throw that in there, but. So this is basically just going to be a little 
dollop, we'll call this a, uh, a macchiato of sorts. Let's clean this off. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That is another piece uh, that I think is very cool. This is a, a little like wood uh, table type thing for this. It'll hold your tools. You can put whatever tool you want on here. Um, and they do have little like indentations on here so you can throw, whoop, I'm spilling. Wasn't paying attention there. But yeah, you can fit these different tools. They're all 58 millimeters. So your 58 millimeter tools will fit in there which is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, I got that dirty. All right, so this is the macchiato. Let's give it a shot. It's actually pretty good. Heavy cream really doesn't disappoint most times. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this is also too, we just got these in. Maybe I'll get, do a little review with the Joey's. These are the fellow Joey's. I like them a lot. Uh, I'll show you a comparison. This is the previous like espresso cup. I want to say these were the Montes and these are the Joey's. These are a little bit more for like milk based drinks, but because it's so small, it's really just for macchiatos. This is mostly for espresso. I think these were like three ounce cups. These were like two ounce cups. So these, this is really good. Definitely not disappointed. Uh, so before we close out, if anyone have any questions, Anything at all? Let's take a look here. Um, all right, so I'm looking here. Hey Joe, off topic, are you still using Libra? Yes, how easy it to, is it? Uh, Sam Snelling asks, how easy is it to read the dial for the temperature of the milk? Would you be able to see it in the morning without the lights on? That's a good question. Um, let's take a look, where's that at? Without the lights on. I will say the blue is pretty pretty popping, but it's not like there's a, I don't know if you're into watches or anything, but it's not like there's any loom on there or anything like that. But um, I don't know. I think it might be a little difficult, but I don't know. Let's see. Hey, Siri, turn off all the lights. Eh, it's not terrible. It's got a nice shine to it. Yeah, I, th I think you might be able to pull it off. Yeah, I think it would work. But again, the, the, the milk, the milk uh, frother pitcher is pretty awesome. Um, hey Siri, turn on all the lights. But um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's all I have on here. Again, we are super, super close to our 5,000 sub giveaway. So if you're watching this, you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, click on the link in my comment section. I will leave that pinned at the top so you can click on that and enter to win. Um, but we are going to give away a DF64. So definitely get um, in that competition because we are very close to giving that away. So if there's no more questions, I'll say cheers and have a great one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.